Stroke is the leading cause of disabilities worldwide, with more than 400,000 Canadians living with a long-term stroke disability. A stroke occurs when the flow of blood in the brain is interrupted, which causes neurons to die. Although it varies from person to person, victims of stroke often have slower reflexes, balance problems, disorganized thinking, and often have difficulty reading, writing, and expressing themselves verbally. In some cases, stroke victims can become paralyzed on one side of their body. The prevalence of stroke isn't low either. Each year, over 50,000 people in Canada suffer from a stroke. It is also the fourth leading cause of death in Canada. The neurons in the central nervous system are difficult to regenerate. Due to this, stroke survivors experience many challenges in their day-to-day -day lives. Fine motor skills are at the foundation of these challenges. This includes an inability to grip objects, which impairs their day-to-day -day activities, such as eating and writing. Luckily, our brains are neuroplastic, which is a fancy way of saying that our brains can undergo changes by forming new neural connections. After the damage done from having a stroke, our brains are not permanently locked in that damaged state. A study done in stroke patients have shown that the use of aerobic exercise for motor learning can improve post-stroke conditions significantly, enhancing post-stroke patients' movements, ability to balance, and overall motor function. It has also been shown that stroke patients participating in an eight-week aerobic cycling program have signs of substantial improvement with regards to their motor acquisition skills. Aerobic exercises have also been shown to increase patients' performance on cognitive tests as opposed to patients who have no aerobic exercise after stroke. Aerobic exercise prepares the brain for neuroplasticity and improves the overall learning and memory in post-stroke patients. Encouraging post-stroke patients to engage in aerobic exercise also results in increased levels of brain-derived neurotrophic factor, also known as BDNF. BDNF is a key helper in neuroplasticity as it is involved in protecting the nerves of our brain and allowing for new nerve cells to grow, preparing the brain for plasticity. Once the aerobic exercise is completed, post-stroke patients have a neural environment that is more susceptible to a neuroplasticity protocol such as motor training protocols. Motor training is crucial for progress in a post-stroke patient's motor function. Motor training allows the patient to relearn motor skills that were lost due to the injury through practice and experience. This is mediated through neuroplasticity. In motor training, post-stroke patients complete repetitive task-specific movements which strengthen the neural connections involved in the movement. If motor training is completed while BDNF levels are elevated, these neural connections will be strengthened even further. Therefore, rehabilitation strategies are seeking to use aerobic exercises to increase BDNF immediately before motor training. A limited number of studies have assessed the effects of using aerobic exercise to prepare the brain for neuroplasticity. The use of aerobic exercise to facilitate motor training depends on a number of factors, such as the type of aerobic exercise, the intensity and duration of the exercise, and the BDNF genotype. No studies have tested what circumstances will lead to the greatest increases in BDNF levels. Therefore, new studies need to determine what type, intensity, and duration of aerobic exercise results in the best levels of BDNF. As well, there are two BDNF genotypes, one of which can reduce the effects of motor training and therefore may limit motor recovery. However, with further research, these protocols show promise to improving motor function in stroke populations.